Hello you guys and welcome back to the Dolphin channel. Here I have the star, the one, the only. Susie Hormel Bentley. <laughs> I'm just questioning to seem humble, honey. We all know who she is, all right? We do. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we stopped at the, uh, very quickly, this is gonna be a haul about Sephora, but I'm also gonna show you the empties of the past few months. And I'm also gonna try just for you guys. We stop at the CVS. You, we know how the coupons work. So I ended up getting for Domel mainly these products, but he said he, I could, you know, I could feel comfortable wearing this as well. Yeah. So the first one is called 630 Nude. This is the Reblum. This you, they say to recommend it actually uh, with all the shades on the lipsticks. Like that's a really nice way of thinking like if you're unsure which shades of lipsticks could go with this they actually give you the formula and then they also give you the different shades that you can pair this with isn't that amazing Demel? yes actually that's very cool and very helpful exactly my we thoughts. need to start seeing brands that are charging a lot more money doing this because it's yeah. very helpful and to be honest here you know, it, it drives more business. Because it does. Because you're like, oh, let me get this shade and let me get that shade and let me see, you know? Yeah, this is a shade nude. It's very pretty. Where do you normally underline your lips? I mean, it's it's very preferable. I start always in the center. Um, oh, girl, she's broken. <laughs> she's very creamy today. She's very creamy. Mercury Retrograde, is this you, baby girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was <laughs> literally just telling you. Everything that could go wrong could go wrong. No, it won't. Listen, new era, honey. Um, yeah, I mean, they everybody has a different way. How do you like it. this woman? It's very creamy, but that lip lining is very questionable, girl. Let's call it as we see it. I'm, I'm, I just lining is not my forte. Let me see. Let me grab the, the pencil and show you a little trick or or two. I think I did good there, and I like the fact that it's new, like my lips. So I always like to go in sideways instead of like pressure pinning because I feel like if you go sideways like tilted to the pencil mm -hmm. you have more control and it looks oh, more natural even if you're going up in lining and then just gentle strokes don't try to mimic a line so quickly oh. do gentle strokes and that will help with getting a beautiful lip line we will say this color is very pretty very creamy as we literally saw, yeah. but this is very pretty on you. Very it looks like your natural now. lip line. I think between the both of them, one was like six ninety nine, and the other one was like twelve ninety nine at CBS. Six ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. Uh, but we paid what eleven dollars, I think, right? Eleven ninety nine for both the both of them. I think yeah. that's just a great option. This one is enriched with vitamin E and antioxidants. It's as well long lasting. They have a built. I almost feel like I'm filming a commercial because i feel like i learned it all yeah it's um, a very pretty color it is and it's infused with vitamin e you said it has a primer as well infused and this actually looks like your lip color just a little baby bit more um pinkish or maybe a little bit more like corally if that makes any sense yeah but it looks great do we have any um q-tips yeah let me get some I'll be back. Come over here. Let me let me go hey. to our um I don't know the storage unit. I don't know. If, <laughs> I, I don't know if I said this, but the Revlon is on the, the they are they have like a whole collection. I think it is seventeen shades somewhere along those lines, and um excuse me, and and they are brand new all of them, which is pretty nice. So yeah. they said to be long lasting, you know, all of this amazing things. They do and feel this, very nice on the lips, very like flat, almost like if you didn't have anything. This yeah, thank you. Texture wise is very thin. That almost feels like you're not wearing anything. Pretty much what he said. And what I like about it is that it's very seamless. You really can tell like you're wearing something, you know what I'm saying? Like it looks very nice. Uh the shade that I'm wearing here, it was a like a horrendous decision, the horrible time. Uh it was tough to pretty much select a shade, right, Amel? We're bringing between the one, the two, and the three, and the four, and the five. And this is the number five. Of course, they have like around 17 shades. But this is a shade number five, Hot Girl, Chica Sexy. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. Is that the name? It says 005, Hot Girl, Feel, Canon, Chica Sexy. It, it's pretty interesting. Hot Girl. Hot Girl. Hot Girl. Um, 
Uh, on the bottom, on the bottom, if you keep reading, it says Chica Sexy. Yeah. Um, they did have a lot of really cute colors. They did. They did. I was very impressed. How, how does that look? This looks really natural, really pretty. I actually really like this a lot. If you do a little bit of like, um, no, no, I think I'm gonna wear it like that just try, for the video. Try a little bit of this. This could be a really cute lip combo, girls. Girls, where's where is it? In the meantime, we're just gonna open this up. There, this in here, we have certain things that you know. I'm just intrigued as far as how we came along to those terms and conditions of the country. Do you personally like a pinker finish to your I don't bars? like any, actually, to be or quite honest. Nude. You should do a little bit of a nude, honey. Don't play with mama. This is a gift sweet tooth. Yeah. That'd be nice for you to try. Try doing it. Mm, it smells center. really good. Yes, it's, it has a good flavor. For diabetic people like me, it's just like a reminder of what you can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Trust the process, girl. Try it in the center. Okay, don't stretch it out that bad. There you go. Keep it there. Now mesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now fix, obviously, you know. Get your life together in there. Pretty much finish all of your Q-tips. You see how it just gives it a nice little soft glow? I was not trusting. Let me see. Do you like it? I'm oh, sure. Here. I Did would you blend have... that good? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mash those potatoes, girl. In the meantime, while I mash those potatoes. So we <laughs> ended up grabbing, which I have one, by the way. I've just been you know, taking some time off making videos because it definitely it's a lot of uh, work. You yeah. know, emotionally, you just spend time as well. You know, you just you pour your heart to people. So um, I also purchased one. I think mine is like 41. And Domel ended up getting the 30 and 31 NN. Uh, both of them are neutral. The first, and they are said to be light shade intensity. One look a little bit more pinker and the other one look more brownier. So we'll see uh, how that works. It says to be weightless liquid foundation for 24 hours. In case you didn't know, they had it for like $10. And on top of that, you could have uh, also apply your 15% or 20% or 10%, depending on which discount you have. We only have 15 right now. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes throughout the year. But in the meantime, look at how stunning this Urban Decay foundation is. Now, I've, I think I've only worn it once. Have you used yours? I think I've only... No, no, I haven't used it because of this tie. Yeah. But I think I, I've only worn it one, once when, when we I used to work in Macy's. And to me, it was a little bit more... Almost like double wear. So I want to see it with a good hydrating primer. Uh, one of my favorite foundations at the moment was the NYX. And with the primer of uh, Selena Gomez, the hydrating one, that one was fantastic of me. So I can't wait to see this because we actually have the two of these ones. And then Domel also has a concealer by Urban Decay that I purchased for him. This is on the shade 40WY. And so I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. because this is Urban Decay, all, all of it. Now, um, hold up. Wait a minute. You said your shade is what? 44, I think. 40, 41, something like that. That's well. I could. I, I also want to use this one because it's closer to my minus over there. By the way, just oh, in case. Yeah, let me go. Let me one go. of the drawers. In the meantime, while the mail goes over there, uh, he wanted. He's. He had been eyeing these two highlighters, and I said, "Do we ever need highlighters anymore? Because we have so many. Like you would have no idea." And the mail said, "I don't know. I guess you can also wear them as a blush topper." And he sold this idea to me. It's like when you're like sign up for a very expensive gym and then they sell you this idea of like a, a healthier lifestyle. It's part of your lifestyle. I almost fell in love with the idea. And then he literally went like, oh, he was squatting all the way down to house labs. And I saw him picking some items and I was like, should I even get the powder, like the translucent powder? But I was like, you know what? I have so many, so. Wait, did we not buy the translucent? No, we didn't. I, I told you. We did. Yeah. Thank you. So he bought mine. This is 41 and N. I'm going to want to see it because this could also be like, if I get really light, I could also use this as a foundation. I already have my skincare routine. But I'm excited to try it. Wait, hold on. Did we really not buy the powder? We didn't. So Why the... was it so expensive then? Let's see how much money this mama spent. So the, <laughs> so the mouth's gonna make this whole shorter. So we have the setting well, spray. You don't have to, you don't have to digress the pricing. This is the setting spray. It's $27. And then of course we had from $40, we had two to $34 uh, highlighters by, whatchamacallit, House Labs, Lady yeah. Gaga. 
So right there we have about 70. And then Duamel purchased the two foundation. naked foundations. Yeah. They both were original price like 44. Now they were discounted for $10. Now they used our coupon, which was 50% off, 15% off. So each of them are gonna be $8.50 each. The subtotal is $112. However, California has a state tax and yeah. they charge you $10 more to $122. Okay. Well, in my mind, I said, oh, okay, it's 100 and whatever dollars. And it says you have saved $19 with 18 cents. I thought we had the powder. I really did think we had the powder. I no. never saw you not, like, I thought you grabbed the powder. Unfortunately, we didn't. But you know what? It is what it is. We don't need more powders. And at the moment, no. I am really have, getting like... into more blushes. Continuing mm -hmm. the blush addiction. I really love blushes. I, I think my, my love for the blushes is just not going to stop. So that's just me. Um, and I've been also getting into a lot of li liners. Like, I want to explore that lining, you know, just like something I want to explore. So, in case you guys want to see it as well, we have the Fire Opal Highlighter. Let I won't me be tell you something. Yeah. Ever since I saw these, like, I was like, work B. Right. Like, it was so cool, so cute. The shades were really, really nice. And the packaging. But I will say, I have so many highlighters that I didn't really want to buy a different formula in the same color because i already have so pretty same colors in three four formulas yeah so i really had my eye on this fire opal it was just so stunning and i said well i wonder if it'll work as a blush topper and like i'm really and he into asked it told me the idea i'm like yeah we should get him a blush topper i was like he knows my love is for blushes, so he's yeah. gonna, you know. Let me tell you something. If you haven't seen the blush topper technique on these cheekbones, honey, this one you haven't me. seen the latest video we launched uh, with like um, Too Faced, baby, that changed my life. Yeah, very beautiful blush toppers, even though they are sold as Bio Radium Gel Powder Highlighting Highlighter. It almost feels like I'm. I'm reading one of the chapters of Resident Evil. Bio Radiant. Bio Radiant? Yeah, Bio Radiant. <laughs> That's just like insane. What else did we get? We got that. And of course, we got the one and only one size. I really love this. Uh, it's just amazing. When, if they ever have like the duos, like they had it in Christmas, I think I'm going to stock up on, and buy 10 sets. Because it's Damn, so girl. good. It's really good. There's nothing that can be compared to this. Like, Patrick, if you're watching, girl. Right What's here. good, my bad. What's good? Like, I would, like, I just love them. Like, why don't you try them? I know you have been taking, like, how many months of breaks? Like, I'm a rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> you are. So, I'm going to jump now onto my empties. Excuse Our me. Empties. How many months? Yeah, I guess I did record that video a long time ago. I can't, I can't argue. I can't complain. So, all of this is empty, right, Bamel? Yes. So, do you mind, um... Maybe helping me over here, holding some of this stuff. Yes. I'm holding this one at the moment. Let me see. Or bring in another bag, maybe. That could be also another one. If you want to bring another one, I think that should help us. This is also right. Yeah. I know, there's so many guys. Why don't you start with this one and then put them here with an empty bag and then that way I can just recycle them. Okay. Structure, bring the other bag if you want. your plan, baby girl. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, we I purchased a K18 when I was uh, platinum. That far along, we haven't done a lot of videos. So this is a living molecule repair. For me, I really enjoyed the fact that I was nourished. It was hydrating. But I also felt like it felt as a mask. Like I was wearing a mask throughout my whole day. So that's why it was fortifying and hydrating to my scalp. I don't know the science behind it. I just can tell you based on my opinion because a lot of people say well i prefer all of this it's just it's a completely different product base based on my experience i just don't think that they are similar right the mill okay no they're not i spoke to it in the first part of the video yeah and we talk about all the goods and the juice perfect next i have tonic comfort this is a hydrating uh and nourishing toner i am gonna be honest i've tried this i know the mill uh, used to be one of his favorite toners i don't know if it still is but I want to try the hydrating one just because I feel like this is too nourishing for my skin. And I don't know if I want to be nourished every day. Really? Mostly right now with the heat. I feel like I want to use something more hydrating than nourishing. You know what? I really did like this. Um, I feel like I haven't connected with it as much. I wish it didn't have as much of a scent. 
as it does. Um, but I did really, really like this and I loved using this, especially as an essence for the nighttime. It just really made the skin comfortable. Next, the Rose Milk Mist. This was a good hydrating. I almost felt like it was a toner rather than just a mist. I liked it a lot. I'm just wondering why would they even just like stop production on this because it was so good. Yeah, very fresh. Yeah. Um, I feel I, like that was heavier than the other the first one. Mm, yeah. I feel like the first one is much harder. I also depotted, I've been depotting my stuff uh, by myself, breaking my own stuff. Um, so this one, you can see it right here, like the way it is, but I actually have it depotted. It looks pretty fat easy to do it, honestly, in this packaging. It was fairly easy. I don't even remember where I placed it, but if you want to see my depotted palettes, let me know. I thought it, that was fantastic. Uh, next up, I tried the Bolymycin Noir Balm Mascara about a month ago, and I really liked it. I felt like if you are have or have a tendency of uh, oily lids, I know Domel does, uh, especially like we were wearing makeup or it's just the heat, it's just like a lot. This will definitely, I feel like it's gonna just like smear. There's a Mel Bot. Uh, this one's our vegan brushes. Have you tried them out? Yes, we love. You know, honestly, um, I really, really, really went to Morphe to purchase brushes. They're affordable, accessible, and they get the job done really beautifully. Yeah. They so, do. yeah, love them. Next, I have the Telescopic Left L'Oreal Paris uh, Mascara. This one was just because of the hive mainly, but also I fell in love with the mascara itself. I feel like they work, it worked fantastic. Like, if you want really good lashes, it worked. Next, I depotted this one. This is the Secret Garden, and unfortunately, one of the highlighters slash blush broke, so I was pretty mad about it, and I just, I'm still mad about it. Like, I, I, I will not be quiet about it. So next, I have the Hip Dot. This is another face palette that if you want to see my uh, see palettes, let me know. We've been supporting this uh, family business. It's called the Pro Palette. I really think that if you guys are getting into like deep potting your shadows, your blushes, or if you're a pro makeup artist, you're going to enjoy a lot of the products that um, Pro Palette uh, offers. So I will link down below the link so you guys can purchase it. And I believe they also have discounts. So keep that in mind. Next, I have a MAC Hyper Real Skin, Cam Skin Canvas Balm, excuse me. And I think this is a fantastic uh, method of, you know, getting somebody that isn't fully aware that, or not necessarily want to do a primer separately. It's a good moisturizer, but it also works as a canvas for the skin. And I feel like every time you use it, it feels very silky smooth. Um, I can't wait to actually finish some of the primers that we have to actually buy it because it's so good. Uh, next up, we've tried some of the infallible 30 hour long lasting liners. These are so hard to remove. I feel like not like impossible, but it's hard like to the point that if you're looking for a good waterproof liner, this is going to be it. And it doesn't smudge. It doesn't look opaque. It, it feels like vivid throughout the whole day. Next, let's see, I have a trash over here. I also depotted the Ofra on the Go palette. This is fairly easy to depot, depot it. Just like you put your finger in here and then you just take it out. You guys know we're gonna be um, recycling majority of this product, so I'll just keep that in mind. Next, we've been using the Dove Advanced Care, but lately, you know, we thanks to the Mel, we have gotten better into our health and lifestyle in general. I think we've made, we've made a lot of progress of positive choices uh, when it comes to our health. So I haven't had a chance to retry the dough, but this is one we usually use on a daily basis if we were not showering at the gym and they didn't have the other one, so. Next, we have the Curology Cleanser. This was just a cleanser that I personally think that it's just like a good cleanser, not too expensive, no, but you just, it's just a cleanser, like it doesn't strip your skin. So I really like it. And next we have a Tonic Comfort. I'm not gonna lie, this is the cutest thing. It's really nice to uh, like travel or if you like go to the gym or something like that and you wanna use a cleanser, it's the best to have, you know, things like this, like travel sizes. Very convenient. Next, I'm gonna have the Good Molecules Hadronic Acid. This is the Boosting Essence, personally. I didn't notice a huge change. I felt like it was just hydrating, but I feel like there are certain essences that I've enjoyed more, like the 
Hmm, which essence on the one that it's been hand skin, I think it is called, and also um what's her name? Kylie Cosmetics used or Kylie Skin yeah, used to have that. the toner, kind of like so lovely. So good. Do they still have that toner? They don't. Oh. So sad about it. Yeah, yeah. Next up we have Jennifer. Jennifer got in some blush over here. She's ready to slay the day. That's a dirty Jennifer, honey. And this Jennifer is really good. It has yeah. vitamin C, has probiotics, and it also has hyaluronic acid. So it's gonna help you glow, hydrate, and it's also gonna strengthen the skin barrier of your skin. So if you've never tried it, try it. Ask for a sample because it's marvelous. Yeah, and our skin actually was working with it a lot better um, with the healthier. Genifique than with the Shiseido Ultimune. I wasn't for some gonna say it, but yeah. didn't work this last yeah, time. We do love Shiseido. We do. Next up, I have this one. This is the Fable and Main Holy Roots Hair Oil. I've only used this one, so I can't really say a lot about it. Probably the Mel will have more memories about it. The Mel? You know, honestly, she's very cute. Do you want to take a picture? She's very cute. And then send it to me so I, I can add it to my support. I would highly advise uh, for anyone to purchase this. I mean, again, my experience with this was um, just lovely and uh my hair just looked and felt really really God. nice throughout the day so i, I would repurchase this 100 percent. what about this amount we bought <coughs> excuse me i bought the grow hair serum what do you think about it you know i noticed a difference with it i do like it i do feel like it does work with building intensity and building um density to the hair follicle uh also it helps with growth However, you have to understand that this is a treatment. It's not going to happen overnight. And definitely, it's going to be a continuous thing for it to work and to give you that effect that it's providing. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it's very important to note that it's a treatment, right? And you can't get the results without taking, let's say, a pill two times a day. You won't get whatever you need at the end, right? So right. just a serum. It's not going to give you the fantasy, but yeah. she will be helpful, I will say. Next up, I have the Strength on Repeat Mask. This is by Odwa Beauty. I personally like the scent. I felt like it does one so nourishing to my hair. I love that. I would repurchase in a heartbeat. And I'm going to ask you to please, please, please take a picture because I really enjoyed it. I feel like I want to buy that. Uh, we have another brush, uh, empty. And what else do we have going on over here? We have some Grande Cosmetics Liquid Plumping Blushes. Not gonna lie, I was pretty excited about that. I can't wait to play with them. I feel like they are just, I almost wanna put them on my lips. I think I actually once I put it on my lips. It was a little bit drying, not gonna lie. But we have a couple of them over here. So let me go ahead and show you. We have Grande Pop. This is on uh, the shade Tiramisu. Very good. Uh, blushes, almost very like natural. I almost feel like the consistency of it is more of a cream. See how very natural it is. Like I have those. So that's why we have so many. Next we have the La Paris Skin Caviar Sleeping Mask. This one was very indulgent for me. I personally wanted to try more about it, but if this is a brand that this type of gift for purchase will cost a hundred dollars. So I was like, I'm gonna just save up some money on it. Next we have the Method Men. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy when I have shower gels or mini creams that smell like my perfume is like Versace or let's say, I don't know. I really like it because I feel like it smells good. So when I'm going to take off my clothes, my man right here is going to enjoy my scent. You know, he's going to. Yeah, it is very nice to smell. This was okay. Your significant other in, in a just like. Particular scent. Yes. It's like, oh, Trash. what's going on here? I know, right? Uh, there's a palette over here. I don't know what happened to it, but probably was the palette. Next, I have the K18 we talked previously, and then we also have a Sensi one. We feel really good about those. We have a lot of empties here, but we have like months of empties. And this is exactly where I was going. I personally think this, I just enjoy the scents that I can have. I really enjoy them. Next, I have the Cosas. Okay, so for me, Cosas, I really love them. And actually, I saw several studies on tiktok by people and by chemists jumping on tiktok saying is it, when a product smells bad and still says that you can still use it can you use it so let's test that i think it's the um the, the moisturizer or the foundation because it's melt rancid because it's apparently more vegan so it, it tends to mm -hmm. have like cleaner ingredient ingredients not as harmful it's or even, a lot of preservatives they, it's supposed to even give you vitamins and mineral and nutrients or whatever so they brows. did the study and they said that the product was still good to use. 
However, a lot of people refuse like us once that they it's gonna start to smell is so bad. Yeah, it smells horrible. Like it didn't smell like that. And I personally think that they do some yeah, some of the most amazing rancid. Yeah. Oof. That was some of the most amazing products that we've tried for browse. I, I personally feel happy about that. Let's see next. We yeah, have... I would repurchase it, just definitely know that when you repurchase this, use it like a maniac trash because it was more than six months and it says that it was only two years so i was like good time but no next i have curology i've been using curology right now on my body to enlighten and see how it actually works my skin i haven't seen any flaking on my body of course it's going to be a little bit different from the face but and you know I, i've been treating my curology right now as a body treatment pretty much because I have a lot of retinols that I want to go through them. And I feel like I'm not going to have this, you know, lots of years to do, you know, personal reviews on it. Next up, I have the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 Plus Sunscreen. I got to tell you, I, mm, someone at work told me, uh, we were talking to other person and they told me, uh, do you, have you tried the SPF by Charlotte Tilbury? Because it has a primer, it's a moisturizer. And I said, I personally haven't. I've tried some samples and I, I've tried the Lancome one. And someone told me, did you know that actually Lancome, it was the first SPF 50 plus Korean. And then also was also a moisturizer and a primer. And I was in shock. So it says broad spectrum SPF 50 plus primer plus moisturizer with antioxidants and vitamin E. And I felt like this was a good, a good SPF. What do you think about it, Duman? I liked it. <laughs> She had just a little bit. I, I liked it, but if I'm honest with you, <laughs> I really love the the other one. I don't even know the name. It's like Aqua something. It's just my favorite. Really? Yes. The oh, Aqua? Yes. Is that a theory? Uh, no. The one from um, the one got a Costco. The oh, okay, one. okay. That's my favorite. Yeah, we're probably gonna be over here. So I have a box of a product by REM Beauty. We I've also tried the CEO Afterglow Moisturizer. It was a good moisturizer. You tried it? I don't recall. Okay. Next, the spats. Where's the four for windows? I think I still have some. They would make my eye itch and feel so uncomfortable when removing the makeup. This is by Almi. It's just a huge no. It left me in the limbo. Another eyeliner. Then we have. Toner. Like I like the toner, but I felt like I was expecting more out of it. Maybe it was just the hype, but I just didn't feel like necessarily. Yeah, let me be honest. Uh, I Listen, this is personal opinion as well, but I think that um, Glow Recipe is a very generic, very basic, um, well-dressed brand. I think they look cute. I think they it's an experience, but I don't necessarily love their products. I don't see a difference with their products. Yeah. And maybe this is an unpopular opinion because I know they're very, very big on, used, on TikTok. But um, I just, I don't know. I really tried a lot, a lot better. Kiehl's and, Shamp Kiehl's and, condition Kiehl's and shampoos and conditioners. Yes. I think that um, they did really good. I thought that I was going to get very dry scalp, but they're not. They are not. I haven't gotten any drying patches. Oh. So I'm very happy about it. Well, I would recommend. They're just not good for color. They strip, yeah, uh, they strip that the color, color out, baby. Next, we have the La Mer Serum. Tell us more about it, Amel. Love her. She's very cute. Same concept. Definitely, I think a, a deluxe sample size like this. It's uh, good to try. Allows you, yes, the, the how it wears on the complexion. Are you going to see, like, drastic results? No. Yeah. But you'll definitely get the experience of how it works on the complexion. Yeah, then we have two uh, small sizes over here, trouble sizes. One is the YSL. This is the Moisture Glow Moisturizer and the High Dive Moisture Shine for hydrating cream for hair. So tell us more about how you feel about these two products, Romel. Love the hair one, R plus CO, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Love her. She's fabulous, very good texture, the hair feels beautiful, dries really nice, and it wears really beautifully once it's dried, which okay. that's how I like to use my hair products, baby. Yeah. Um, and YSL, let me see, what is that? The Moisture Glow Moisturizer. Let me see. I don't remember using that. I think it was just me, maybe. How did you Let's like see. it? I think it was good. It was a good moisturizer. I do like the Eau Rouge line. She's mm. very hydrating to all that. Next, we have the Jaffra Spa. This is a treatment for hydration. It was a good, like, living treatment. 
Next, I have the K18 Living Income Molecular Conditioner. You guys know how I feel about it. The Rare Beauty Primer. So this is the first primer I've ever used completely. So I'm happy to, to know that. We're probably gonna end up trashing this Alice because she's a little bit, you know, orangey over here. Damn. But um, this is a Rare Beauty Primer and I personally liked it. I feel like this in combination with the NYX, uh, at, like the newest version the of the blur. the blur, thank you. That was fantastic. How do you feel about it? Uh, you know, I use it once or twice. Yeah. And I, um, I, I really love glow and I really love, like, that's, you know, yeah. I love it. Yeah. But I just don't know how I feel about, like, a glowy primer for, like, your textured pore areas. I don't care what you say. Yeah, it just, like, um, kind of makes it. Yeah. Ultimately, glow will enhance texture if it's, like, a glitter based. That's just his nature. So I prefer to keep that a little bit more neutral, more matte, darling. But she was cute. How do you feel about this one? I liked her. Do I love her though? No. Would I run and trip over myself, baby, to get her? Maybe if she's on like a 50% off sale. Yeah. But, you know. I just personally think that for me, oils are not necessarily as indulgent i haven't been impressed by really? one i'm the only one that i think i was more in love with it was the one that we bought at fontana the lapis oil by herbivore yes that one was a the good one, no? dry oil i don't like nourishing oils i like them dry i want them to feel like they nourish me but they are gonna go away i don't want to feel sticky throughout my day no or throughout my i night. literally live for that like i live for I the know. stickiness the the glaziness and i'm the the one who Baby, has a dryer give it to me dry skin long. and domel has oily skin i want to so. compete with crispy cream glazed donuts okay bitch next up we are going to talk about the la mer serum how do you feel about it also good is this the essence this is the serum um you know she's cute sometimes i feel like they're full of silicone yeah and i don't appreciate that la mer last but not least on this uh bag i have the let me glow illuminating serum this it's is a hell no to the no no it was no. just not impressive for me no i personally think that they could have done way better and knowing the fact that they are a subsidiary company from elf with a huge name like um Alicia Keys. I'm kidding. Oh, I knew who was. <laughs> and um don't you play me like that. I grabbed with Alicia Keys. And then uh not with her because no like I know his did you really grab with her? <laughs> the same neighbor. I grew up listening you were his to neighbor, her. her neighbor. I just if you if you don't mind helping me, we're here making yeah, sure that everything here is trash. Let me and support. then I, we gotta pick up this part. All right. And we're heading to the other one. I just wanna make sure that we don't have a hot mess over here. Excuse me, guys. I know. It's a hot mess. It's hard. I told them. I told next, them in the beginning of the video. Next up, I'm, I have the Dove Oxygen Moisture Conditioner. This one was an okay conditioner. Yeah. And I think that it personally worked okay. Let I wasn't me impressed. say this. Um, it does leave your hair very soft without being it does. Less. It does. Uh, but you know, she's a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. I just don't trust them like that. How do you feel about this? Who is she? What's the flavor? The Vibrato Figuera. The Vibrato? The Vibrato? No? You know, I liked, I love candles. I don't like having small candles because I can never appreciate the scent, the scent. properly. That's how I feel. But I do like them. They're very cute. Um, this scent in particular, I couldn't pick it up. Me I either. couldn't pick it up. Next, oh, I think we still have some over here, baby. Mm, I'm sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. Next, I have the 50 Plus Sun Project Water Sunscreen, uh, Sun Cream. SPF 50 Plus PA Plus 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 50 ml. Thank you, Farmer. Love her. She's my girl. She's my girl. Duamel says, allegedly, no, the that facts, every the time facts. he would use it, Everybody would ask oh. him about his skin. Yes. You saw it here first? Yes. It's the facts. I was just like, eh. No. No, 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 no. The Lancome one was good as well. And I just didn't. No. I personally didn't notice any difference. Listen, Lancome's great. It's just the wearability. This one's the girl. Let's talk about something that Excuse is. Excuse me. I gotta go flip my chin. This is the big no, right, Amel? Boom. Oh. I already spoke about that in the first one. Oh, okay. But give me your opinion, though. Give me your opinion, baby. I think for me, this was a huge no, so. Just no. Next, we have a Lacey Royal Checkmate Scented Candle Bougie Perfume. This is supposed to be a mimic or a dupe or inspired by uh, Baccarat Rouge. 
And I think that for me, Black and Red Rouge smells really good. But the candles, even though we had two of them, I personally, oh, here you go. We had two of them. I personally felt, and I'm a candle person. I'm a person who wants to have his home smelling really good, just like it should, you know? But for me, the candles were just a huge no. I felt like I couldn't smell them. I just wasn't living for it in general. Next, we have the AG Remedy. I personally have this, this brand, AG and Maria Nila and shampoos and conditioners have a good place deep in my heart because I feel like they have been nothing but amazing to me. So I just, I, I love everything from them. Next, I have the Collagen Retinol. Did you already talk about this? Um, You know what? It, she doesn't remember. I don't remember, but please give your opinion. I think that for me, this one was okay. It was just like, I almost felt like an oil. It was very heavy. Yeah. So I used to throw on my body and I didn't see any difference. So yeah. That's just my opinion. Next, we're going to talk about another dough. See, guys, this one, this is pretty much what I was saying before. Curiology, yeah. you guys know I use it in Let my body. Let me tell you something. Uh, dove deodorant is one of the Oops. ones that we use normally. Yeah. Um, but I will say in our gym, we have one. It's called Cure. C-U-R-E. Yeah. And this one is really really nice and the reason why i really prefer really, the really. cure really. is because not only it, it really helps really. with odor um it doesn't stain the clothes it doesn't, it doesn't make your armpits no. sweat like it's just really really nice really really though extra like you nice. guys heard it here in the really channel here's the girl then, then we have the new call go on Domel. she was fresh she, literally she had like a menthol-y feel in the scalp what is this for it, this is like a similar grow like to thick you thicken your hair or to like it make work? it grow you know i didn't notice anything big i i it definitely didn't impress me have you used this before is that the one for a dry skin it's to Oily cleanse skin, and remove no? the makeup i think once or twice you know she's okay she's all right she's clean <laughs> There's certain clinics that are a hit and some of them that are a miss for me. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like every other brand for sure. Next we have oh, Y Detox Shampoo. I like Y. Yeah. I think Y and then the other brand that I personally like it. I think that both of them, I want to try them more. Yeah. But, you know. You know what it is, is that we have um, accessibility to... Other products. Other products. And it's just so much to try in the market, you know? Yeah. I didn't like this at all. Like, this is a minus 1,000. It was million. a hot mess. Yeah. Yeah. This is by Little Barn Apo Apothecary. Blue Yarrow Geranium Cleansing Oil. Bor organic Blue Yarrow. I just... It, it was chaotic from beginning to the end. Yeah. I feel like the biggest issue that I encountered with pump. it... What? Huh? Was the pump. Really? No. My biggest it's... issue was that I just didn't feel anything comfortable and it, it didn't feel like it was removing anything right i didn't feel comfortable unless you were like really stripping the skin yes that you were clean i felt like i learned from a tiktok video that i saw like i don't know last week yeah like enjoy when you're removing the makeup lift your skin like massage it just kind of like indulge your skin like if you have your time take your time removing everything ensuring that everything looks good and feels yeah. good no i agree this Love is her. this is a moss. This is for, to me. It's not as dry oil, but it doesn't give me thin. that. It's just very thin. It's a very, it's very thin, thin oil formula. If you've never tried Osea, Osea has one of the most Osea, amazing. Osea, she's the girl. She is the girl. <laughs> the, I think she's made here in Malibu. Actually, she's made here in Malibu. Those coconuts. And, and then it's a made in USA, gluten free, vegan, cruelty free. What I like about them is the fact that uh, this one has jojoba and macadamia oils to moisture your skin. For it morning and night good. and the scent it's yes. so good it's like just Head really to toe. good she packaging is cute the oil is very comfortable and very thin on the skin yeah very hydrating as well locks and really I, i'm always af afraid to see who's gonna purchase it if it's gonna be a l'oreal brand or a slaughter brand yeah because i heard that asap uh I, we haven't tried it by asap but I know that it's very popular for moisturizing and hydrating and mm -hmm. just showering. Yeah. They were recently bought by Estee Lauder. So let's see what what's going to come into Who soon. Who are more scared of, Estee Lauder or L'Oreal? I feel like Estee Lauder has a, a, a pattern of taking these amazing brands and then kind of like drowning them. Like the one for the eyeshadows? What's the name of it? Literally. The, the glitter Stila. Isn't it? Yeah. Was it Stila bought by them? I, I don't know. Yeah. It's I like think. who? Mm -hmm. That's my point. Literally my point. 
Yeah, what's the brand of the house? Beka, 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 Beka. They closed too, that Beka. Beka. Yeah. That's the one that was talking Literally, about. Literally, Beka was... Sorry, and it wasn't the other one. It was Beka. Yeah. And I think it wasn't Stila, excuse me. It was Bot Pot. But either way, still is also a slaughter. I don't know. I just... And really I feel do. like it went down. And then, like, brands, like, they, they usually bought by them. It's like... Yeah. I feel the same way about, like, when they acquired Tom Ford, you know... Whereas other brands, yeah, maybe are they are not fully focused on them, but yeah. they are still making it. Like Urban Decay with L'Oreal is still popping. Like, you know, maybe let's say YSL, Girl, Armani, I they are still it. popping. Mm -hmm. I, actually, there are some good blushes by uh, YSL. What is it? Jordan. Armani, Armani, yeah. Armani. They're so good. I want to see Now, I wouldn't say that Urban Decay, she's doing that hot. I will say this. But I, I, I do believe that they have the people who, like, the brands that they love to push and to do what they do and make their money off of. And their brands are not. Right. And then they just don't, I don't know. Long story uh -huh. short, I don't know. I don't know. Let's Talk question. about the moisturizer, the melt. It was an okay Very moisturizer. Cute. Very cute. It's, it's an experience. The texture is cool. Yeah. The color is cool. Feels like a cloud. Yes. Almost, and it's literally a cool cloud. It's it, so cool. It kind of hugs your skin. Yes. But it's a good moisturizer. Yes. It's just not an anti-aging to me. It's just good moisturizer. And I, I like guess if you think about hydration, it is anti-aging. Yeah. Would you buy it? I don't know. I, we have so many though. I feel like it's a cool moisturizer, but the only thing that I wouldn't run to buy it, besides the fact that because we have so many um, that we still have to go through, but I feel like it's just hydration, yeah. right? There's not much more um, to my knowledge, but I don't know. I don't know. She was fun. She what was do you cool. think about this one? Listen, we love Jeffree Star. Cosmetics. Before the mouse says something, yes. I'm going to say it was a big no. Of makeup, yes. Skincare so far, I'm yeah. not impressed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We love Jeffree Star. We love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We literally, I'm sure if you know our channel, you know, you know, it's a guy. However, so no. we just don't see the results. He does such a fabulous job promoting them, saying that it has left, right, up, and down, and it's amazing and iconic, and it's gonna change your mother effing face. But it just kind of does hint. So I don't know if it's the promotion. It's so hardcore. Long story short, I'm with you, Felipe. Thank you. Next and final for me on this one, it's just a good serum. I didn't see any benefits right away, even though we used like two, 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 three bottles. Yeah, yeah. It has a lot of great ingredients. It has uh, vitamin C, uh, ascorbic acid, niacinamide uh, for pores and texture. La we, they also have lactic acid. They also have peptides and they also have ceramides. It's a really good product, but I just... I feel like even with two, three serums, it just wasn't impressive for my skin. I fully agree. Next, we have this moisturizer by Agustin Butter. This was a good moisturizer. I still feel like I want to try more of the brand rather than just giving a settled statement. Next, I have the uh, Lancome, Lancome Genific Eye Cream. I feel like this one was a good eye cream. I actually agree. I did like the texture. I felt when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's going to be like a watery gel that's just going to feel like. But it was indulgent. It was like the cloud kills. Like it was just like hugging your skin. wonderful. I agree. Next, I have the and final of this bag. And actually, this is the final product. So this is the Clay de Pola serum. This one was a good serum. So every time I put this one, I actually felt like the serum was very hydrating. Like for the first time in forever, I can tell you right away that like Clay de Pola serum was very glowy for me it was like a glowy product what do you think you know i remember using it a couple of times it feels similar to the co's rx i believe yeah yeah, yeah. Um, almost feels like that like but it's not as sticky yeah 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 um it was cool yeah, it was yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. i didn't see results like it didn't make me cringe and be like yeah oh my skin can't live without this yeah so i think i must try it a little oh, bit gosh. more before i make those types of choices i think i have some lipstick here but anyways you guys Thank you for, let me know if with, within the video you remember, when did I get this lipstick here? Like, I just don't remember it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you so much. Just continue remembering we're going to have a giveaway. So please stay tuned. And if you want to, you know, make a special request for our product, if you want us to do something, let us know in the comments down below. And then we'll be more than happy to do that. Goodbye.